Welcome to our video tutorial on how to add conditional fields for Contact Form 7. In this tutorial, we'll be using the Contact Form 7 add-in called Conditional Fields for Contact Form 7 to create dynamic and interactive forms. First, let's make sure you have the Contact Form 7 and Conditional Fields plugin installed and activated on your WordPress website. Once the plugin is activated, you can start using conditional fields in your contact form 7 forms. Let's go ahead and create a form files to demonstrate this. In the settings of the plugin conditional fields for contact form 7, you will notice the presence of an additional tag called conditional fields group. Any content enclosed within the start and end tag will be initially hidden. I am adding a drop-down menu item and will retrieve different group data for each option selected. As you can see, I have added three options to the menu item, tech support, sales support, and other. Let's create three corresponding groups. Once the desired field groups are added, navigate to the conditional fields section. Here, you can create one or more conditions that will determine when each group should become visible based on the selected menu item option. I have also created three different submenus under these groups. In order to make a group appear if some conditions are met, we will need to add conditional rules. Make sure you save the form first, and then click the conditional fields tab. Let's apply a conditional rules and retrieve the relevant group data. Now, as you can see, I have assigned menu items to Group 1, Group 2, and Group 3, respectively. Let's create a few more groups to enhance our understanding.
In the second example, when selecting the menu items USA and Canada, you will see the tags for Group 4 and Group 5, respectively. We hope this tutorial was helpful in understanding how to add conditional fields to Contact Form 7, using the conditional fields for Contact Form 7 add-on. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials like this. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please leave a comment below. We'll be glad to help you out. Thank you for watching.